Hey guys, welcome to Cutesy Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Natsuki from the Friday Night Funkin' Mod Doki Doki Takeover. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. This drawing is a bit more on the difficult side, and I'll be erasing some lines, so I'd recommend drawing in a pencil first. Okay, let's start off by drawing the shape of the face like this. Now let's draw the eyes starting with the right side. Draw a thick line across right above the face line. Then on the left side, draw two curved lines down. And add a curve across the bottom to connect it. And then now color the eye in black. Let's draw the left eye now, starting with a thick curved line that tapers out at the ends. Now towards the inside, draw two curved lines down. And then connect them with a diagonal line. And now color the eye in black. Next, add the eyebrows with angled tapered curves above each eye like this. Let's draw the mouth now. Under in between the eyes, draw a curve here. Then a curve across to the right. Let's draw the square hair clip now. Above her left eye, draw a large square. Then add a border inside with another square. and then add an X shape with two sets of lines like this. Now erase the overlapping lines in the middle and the corners. Next, let's draw her hair. Draw a curve on the right side next to her eyebrow down to the eye. Now above it, draw a curve across to the hair clip. Then continue this line on the other side to the left. At the end now, draw a V-shape up. And now curve it back into the hair clip and continue it on the other side as well with a short line. Next, under on the left, draw a curved piece of hair coming down onto the cheek. And then one larger, longer one to the left. Let's draw her left pigtail now. Draw a large S curve at the top here. From the top, draw a pointed piece of hair coming over to the left. And then curve it down. Now in the small gap here, add a V curve. Next under, add one more long piece of pointed hair. Let's add the hair ribbon now. Draw a curve here on the right of the pigtail. Then add two curved lines down.
and close it off with an upside down V. Draw another ribbon string in the same way to the left behind the pigtail. Next, hop to the top and draw a curved line to the right for the top of the head. Then add two more curves down to the face to close off the head. Let's draw the other pigtail now. On the top right, draw a small curve. Then to the left, a curve up. Now draw a pointed section of hair out to the right. And then one more curve down to close it off. Lastly for the hair, let's add one more section on the bottom right. Start with a small point. And then a curve down, stopping here to leave room for the microphone. And lastly, add a short detailed line inside here. Let's draw the hand holding the microphone next. Draw a curve on the bottom right overlapping the face slightly. Now erase the face line inside. At the bottom now, draw a bent line. Now a curve on the left. and then an S-curve over at the bottom. Next, draw the bottom of the microphone on an angle. Then close off the hand like this. Next, add the detailed curved lines inside the microphone head. Let's draw her arms now. Under the left side of the hand, draw an angled line up to the left. Now the bottom side of the arm, starting with a curve from under the hand and then over to the left. Close off the sleeve now with a curve across. Next, add a diagonal line above here for the other arm. Then add the other hand at the end of the sleeve like this. Let's draw the outside of her left arm now with a curved line on the left behind the piece of hair. Now to the right of it, draw a line down for the side of the body. Let's draw the collar of her shirt next. Draw a small V-shape on the left here. And then a larger one on the right. Now add one more V-shape in between on the left side. Let's draw the bow next. Start with a small circle. And then add two loops. and then another set of loops inside each. Next, add the strings of the bow under with rectangle shapes. Now finish off the collar of her shirt with another set of diagonal lines above the bow here. Next, in between her face and the microphone head, let's draw a tiny line across for the top of her right shoulder. Let's add the jacket collar now. On the right, draw two pointed lines on an angle here. Then move to the left side and add a line down under the left loop of the bow. 
Let's draw the bottom of the jacket under her arms next. Draw two curved lines under here, in line with the bow above. Then small curves out on both sides. And then connect each side of the jacket with a curve. Lastly, add a small circle in the right side for the button. Next, draw the skirt with 7 pleats across like this. Let's draw the legs next. On the left, draw a line down. Then add a bump for the knee. Now add an angled line down and in on the right. Next, draw the calf with a straight line down on the left and a bent line on the right. Let's draw the other leg now in a similar way, but the knee should be a little bit lower. Next, add curves across both knees for the socks. Let's draw the left shoe now. Draw a curve across the bottom of the leg. And then bent lines on either side. Next on the left, add an L shape. Then align across in the gap. Now draw the front of the shoe with a curve over and down. Add the heel on the right now. And then connect the lines at the bottom. Next inside, draw a curve at the front and then a square shape on the heel. Let's draw the other shoe now. Continue the left line down slightly on an angle. And then add a curve across. Next, draw the front of the shoe with an open curved square shape like this. Now add the back of the shoe here. And lastly, connect it all at the bottom with a curve across. And that's it for Natsuki. Now let's quickly color her in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.